Well, two families of a Sea Corps Corp crew member have filed the first suit against the companies that employed their loved ones. Hannah Daspid is the wife of Dylan Daspid, and Krista Vercher is the fiance of Jay Guevara. Their attorney alleges Sea Corps and Talus Energy put profit before lives. Houston's Nils Arang is now joins us to further explain what is inside the multi-million dollar lawsuits. Neil. Yes, Darla, these eight angels quite, paint quite the picture of what Hannah and her young children are going through. It calls Dylan Daspit deceased, even though his body hasn't been found, neither have six other crew members. The Hannah Daspit versus Seek or Marine and Talos Energy lawsuit puts the blame for a horrific tragedy solely at the feet of the two companies. Spagnoletti Law Firm claims both companies knew the risks of taking a vessel under repairs to sea in dangerous weather conditions. They said it was Seacor's fault, and Seacor blames the captain. Okay, and what's the captain supposed to do? Blame the guys on the deck because they didn't see the weather coming? Give me a break. The buck stops at the top. Spagnoletti has 40 years of maritime law experience and said more lawsuits are coming. The reason they had to bring the lawsuit now is because they're going to be sued by Secor probably in the very near future. The families? And Yes, because they're going to file something called the Limitation of Liability Statute. The Limitation Statute allows vessel owners to limit or restrict liability owed to the injured or killed to the value of the vessel. But Spagnoletti says that can't be compared with what the crew and families are suffering, so they're seeking $25 million in damages. Money can't compensate for what you lose, but the only blood there is in a corporation is money. It's their blood. And so it has to be serious enough that they are that gets their attention to know that we're not we're coming for them hard. The family stressed even more important than the money is causing lasting change through rewriting laws that give companies loopholes and ensuring no man or woman goes offshore again without wearing a personal GPS tracker so families like Daspits don't have to search out of their own pocket. If you can track an iPad, you should be able to track a human being if they're working for you offshore. Why haven't you done that? The technology's there. It's because you just didn't think about it. If you don't think about their safety, you don't care about their safety. Spagnoletti did file another lawsuit today for the loved ones of Jay Guevara. If you'd like to look at the full lawsuit for Daspit, we've attached it to this story on KLFY.com. In studio, Neil Drang, KLFY News 10.